What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Harry Potter in this video here today because it looks like we have gotten a update on the status of the Harry Potter TV show. This is coming from Deadline who put out this report a few days ago. The Harry Potter television series is moving closer to fruition. I'll be mostly going over the important bits from this Deadline article and then I'll share my thoughts on it. In April, Warner Brothers Discovery revealed that a series based on the classic Wizarding World would be coming to its streaming service, Max. Deadline understands that things in Potter World are now heating up with a marathon of pitches underway from writers vying for the right to adapt J.K. Rowling's seven books. Martha Hillier, Kathleen Jordan, Tom Moran, and Michael Leslie are among those who are presenting their visions to the streaming service and Warner Brothers Television, sources said. It's an interesting mix of Brits and Americans. We've heard that the group of writers were commissioned by Max to create pitches for a series reflecting their take on the IP. We hear the first round of pitch meetings happened in Los Angeles this week, and sources said that the top choices will go on to the next round in the UK. It is unclear how involved Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, who lives in Edinburgh, Scotland, has been with the process, but she is expected to be involved with the decision making on the series, which she executive produces. Deadline understands that there may also be an opportunity for more than one of those writers to be involved and that Max is open to the possibility of developing more than one idea based on Harry Potter. Now, first things first, we need to address J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling's involvement is not shocking at all whatsoever because as someone who has always side-eyed the way corporate America handles DEI, especially Hollywood, this just doesn't do anything but reinforce my mentality about how a lot of the DEI from Hollywood is just pandering on their part. It's A lot of it is disingenuous and it's not as genuine as the public deludes themselves into thinking. J.K. Rowling is still generating money for them, so she'll stick around as long as she is generating money. And I think she made like 10 million off of the cursed child play last year i could be mistaken with that figure wealth keeps you protected hollywood knows it and it keeps you in business and hollywood definitely knows that so rowling is able to cover both of those bases which means that those involved with the show will take bad press as good press and spin it to say well it's going to help boost the show's popularity which it undoubtedly will because i think the same happened with hogwarts legacy which turned out to be a big success my simple point is that if rowling were some bum that mishandled her finances then she'd be gone by now and Hollywood would paint it as she's offensive but in reality when they get rid of these people that they're painting offensive a lot of it also comes from the fact that these people are not generating money for them anymore and again a lot of the DEI with Hollywood from what I see and how I see a lot of people being booted from these DEI roles it's very disingenuous it's them checking boxes they're not being the most genuine with it it's just not very genuine it's just pandering a lot of it is pandering there's a lot of people who are very passionate about DEI but a lot of the DEI execution that goes on it's just pandering it's just pandering because if jk rowling didn't have the power that she had she'd be gone by now and this jk rowling is also another example of someone who or just in general a, an example of why i don't get involved with the personal lives of the art that's created by some people uh, i try not to get too involved with the personal lives of actors writers Anything that I'm a fan of when it comes to what they're creating as an art piece, I try not to get too involved in the creator's lives because these people, they're human beings. There's a lot of stuff about them I'm not going to like. There's a lot of stuff about them I'm going to disagree with and I'm not going to have the same stance that they take on a lot of a lot of things. So that's why I don't engage with art like that. But J.K. Rowling being involved with the series, it's not shocking at all whatsoever. I would have been more shocked if she wasn't involved. I get why people don't want her to be involved, but it's not shocking at all. None of it is shocking. I'm not surprised she has created this safe space for herself where she basically is at the top of this empire and no one can knock her down. If someone does knock her down, obviously... <laughs> That'll be a shock. I just don't see it happening. And the news of her having some hand in the creative process going forward, it's not surprising to me at all. Max being open to developing more than one idea based on Harry Potter makes me hopeful for a proper show fans wouldn't be against, like a show about the Marauders maybe, or the first Wizarding War, or a Tom Riddle show even. And it's funny because the Songbirds and Snakes writer is mentioned in this report, given the context of that film being an origin story for Coriolanus Snow, I wouldn't be against seeing that same person tackle Voldemort's path to darkness, not at all. Voldemort I think is a far more compelling character, that's just me. 
At this point, most known or most know that the main show is going to dedicate itself to being a more faithful adaptation of those seven books. And the goal is for this to last 10 years. If it's able to launch in the next few years, I'll be in my late 30s by the time it wraps, if we're lucky. But the more I think about this, I just don't prefer what they're doing. It really is going to take a solid first season to get me to commit and stay invested in what they're putting out. The last show I almost dedicated 10 years to couldn't save itself from years of bad writing. And while I would love to see the show address Neville Longbottom as another contender to be the chosen one along with Harry Potter the way the books do, I just have my doubts until proven otherwise. Most Potter fans 100% still prefer if the series is continuing to somehow bring back the trio or do a story on their children. But I think we've already heard reports that none of them want to work with Rowling, which they don't have to. They're not obligated to. Rowling isn't obligated to work with them. It's just a very up in the air sort of thing for me with this show still, because I have to see what they cook up, what is being presented, who's involved. And since you're going to be doing a retelling that's supposed to be more faithful, I get it, a more faithful adaptation. People are going to be judging who you cast in that iconic trio role who did you cast who are you casting as harry who are you casting as ron who are you casting as hermione it's not to say you can't find the talent but a lot of people it won't even matter who you cast they're just gonna they're just gonna say oh that this is not my potter it's not my harry it's not my ron it's not my hermione if the show ends up being a success then we'll all be eating our words but i'm gonna re remain doubtful <laughs> And, and keep some reservations until I see more on this report. But they have some nice names here throwing their pitches because the Songbirds and Snakes film, I think, was pretty good, even though some people have their gripes with that. But you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. What do you think about J.K. Rowling being involved? Do you care? Do you not care? Do you see my point as to why so many of us separate art from the artists? Because a lot of these artists, they have a lot of stuff going on in their lives if you obsess over their lives that th you're gonna find a lot of things you don't agree with them on this is it's just how the way it's just the way it works and that's why i don't engage with art in that capacity because i'm gonna engage with your art i could give two shits about your personal life but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video